So I checked the river flow today and I saw that they had dropped it. This is on the Farmington River in, in uh, Northwest Connecticut, New Hartford, Riverton area. Said they dropped it down to 85 CFS. So I went into a big panic. Then they dropped it again to 85 CFS, whoever controls the water. And I was gonna make a righteous anti-government video about it. The Farmington has always been a reliable place to go through the heat in the summer. I came running up here. I don't know what that is. Took a look at the river. And it really wasn't that bad. It really isn't that bad. Can you really fish it? 92 CFS? Yeah, you can fish it if you're a moron. You can fish it if you're a moron. So what this video is really going to be is an introduction. Uh, my friend Claude has agreed to do us another video on tying flies. He said he was going to do trichos. So looking forward to seeing that and sharing it with you. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about trichorithides or trichos. They're a mayfly that hatches in the late summer and early fall. They provide the trout with a lot of food at that time of year. They're a tiny fly, size 20 or 22 out west and 22, 24, 26 here in the east. So without further discussion, let's talk about tying. The materials for the trico are olive thread size 80 and black thread size 80. You could use just the black thread if you want and tie the male trico. We're trying the female trico today. Uh, we're going to use poly yarn for the wing. I like poly yarn. It's easy to work with. It wouldn't be a sparkle done without the sparkle. And here's some Zelon from Blue Ribbon Flies. You could use any kind of material you want for the shuck. And we're going to use some black superfine dubbing. And let's see how we're going to tie this. First thing we'll do is we'll get our thread started on the hook shank and work our way back toward the bend so that we can tie in the shuck without it spinning around. We want a good thread base on the shank of the hook. We're going to use the uh, sparkle done, but as I said uh, earlier, you could use any material you want. You could use split tails and tie this as a spent wing rather than a done. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. After we've got our thread situated, we're going to square off the end of the shuck yarn. For the shuck, I use a, a piece of the yarn and I'll divide it with a bodkin. I'll divide it into three equal pieces. And you really don't want much. You just want enough to keep it, to float it. We'll tie that in, work our way back toward the bend, and take a wrap underneath it to secure it. And then we'll be ready to work forward and tie in our second thread. We come up the hook and toward the original tie-in point and we'll trim off the excess and trim the shuck to length. About the length of the body is good and now we're ready for our thorax area. So what we'll do is we'll whip finish this green thread, this olive thread, and we'll tie in black thread for the thorax and for the wing. That's what we'll use to secure the wing, to secure the poly yarn. I like to work with the uh, with poly yarn. It, seems to work better because when you wrap around it laterally uh, it seems to stand up better seems to be easy to you know easier to work with I will trim that and bring our wing in we'll tie it in with a figure eight like we normally do for a spinner and if you wanted to you could leave it here you could just stop here 
and you'd have a spinner with a little bit of dubbing on it but we'll tie it this way and stand it up to make a dun a dun wing for it so we secure the wing with figure eight and then stand it up take a few wraps in front of it and now we'll wrap laterally around it three or four times and now our last step is we'll put in some super fine dubbing it's our last material for the body we just we just want a real little bit we don't want a lot we'll make sure that's nice and tight on the thread and wrap it and to form a nice thorax you can wrap around the wing too if you want just like we did with the thread and finally we'll make a whip finish three or four turn and the final step will be to trim the wing and then we'll have a completed done I hope you've enjoyed this tying video and uh, thanks for watching